Hey, Jim Bergman with Measure Quick. I wanted to go over a little bit about the Blue Flame Analyzer. We've gotten some questions about it. Um, Blue Flame came out about two years ago as an AccuJules product, and we've been working quite a bit this year on improving a couple different things. Number one was the connection to the Blue Flame to make things just work better within the application so we can basically use the Measure Quick app to switch between the draft and the temperature rise and uh, go into the combustion testing as well as do your ambient CO testing and the AHRI uh, induced draft heat exchanger inspection that requires you to measure CO in the supply airstream and in the return airstream. There's a couple reasons we really like this analyzer. Uh, number one is for its size. You know, it's a very compact, well-made analyzer. It's got a fiberglass housing on it. It's super tough uh, with a rubber side molded display. And the other big feature I like about it is the simplicity of some of the connections on here. So this uses two K-type thermocouples. Now, this is sort of important when you're gonna do things like, we use this other K-type here either for temperature rise or we use it for combustion air temperature to get a uh, accurate combustion analysis. And having a K-type thermocouple instead of an expensive adapter, it makes a big difference because it definitely cuts down on cost. Also, AccuTools uh, upgraded the uh, probe assembly on here, so the strain relief is a lot better than earlier models. And probably the most interesting thing is this year they upgraded their sensor from a two-year sensor to a five-year O2 sensor, five-year rated life. Now, all these sensors, when you hear about them, they're all rated life because you can obviously damage a sensor by introducing moisture into the, into the uh, sensor. But if you take good care of your sensors, keep your instrument dry, uh, you can expect to get five years now out of the sensors which is a, a big improvement over previous models. Now, this analyzer also can be equipped with a NOx sensor if you need to do uh, NOx uh, testing. And this one is equipped with a NOx sensor on it, but uh, overall, just a really nice, compact, easy to use analyzer. It does have a full touch screen on here, but once it's paired with a MeasureQuick app or with a Blue Flame app, you really don't have to use either one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just pop it in here and We've already gone through, uh, let me get my glasses back on so I can see. Um, we've already gone through and done a uh, initial gas clock in the meter, so I'll just go back here and show what we've done. We've done our ambient CO, uh, where we've done activated for supply and return. Again, this goes back to the induced draft heat exchanger inspection form. In the Measure Quick app, if you tap on that, you're going to see there's a three, or excuse me, a five step method here. And Obviously, we want to look for things like flame disturbances, and then we're looking for CO in the supply air, in the return air, and uh, checking CO in the stack. So again, if you're not using a combustion analyzer and you're servicing gas appliances, you aren't meeting the industry standards, it's very important that you consider uh, purchasing one just for that reason. Also, we've got in here our compliance uh, appliance safety uh, inspection for vented appliances. So if you're new to doing combustion analysis and you don't know what the CO readings mean or you don't know when to have a call to action, like in other words, when to do something, again, it's in here, it tells you what to do in the, in the lower ranges all the way through the higher ranges, when to terminate the inspection and when to close out the equipment. So that's our ambient CO testing. We've also got, just to talk about this, and this is a great reason for using Measure Quick. Right now I have three test manometers on here. I have one that's measuring my intake pressure, one that's measuring my manifold pressure, and one that's measuring uh, my induced draft pressure. So I'm tied in here with a little plastic T in, in uh, parallel with my induced draft motor. Then I'm measuring static pressure in the return. Up here, static pressure on supply. So I'm actually able to get all the measurements for the furnace at once in the measure quick. So we're looking at our gas input screen here. Uh, you can see right now, actually I'm calculating the, the BTU input and uh, then a manifold pressure. So it's looking for a current manifold pressure is 3.14 and we're looking for a target of 3.36. Uh, I don't know if I have a screwdriver here to adjust that, but you can see the BTUs are being calculated in real time on the uh, furnace. So it looks like it just kicked out of the uh, app here. Let me go back in and, and we'll restart this app. We'll get this running again. And so I was in the, uh, in the Cool Cloud app here and this is a Bluetooth app to actually control the furnace. And this is uh, one of the Goodman uh, communicating models. So it's pretty slick, you can, you can configure it, uh, put the furnace in different test modes. So right now I'm just running at the high capacity. So we're gonna go back in and we'll go into MeasureQuick for a second. And you can see now my gas inputs down to zero. 
Uh, I'm gonna walk over and grab myself a screwdriver here. All right, so we got the meter clocked and now we're to the point where we're just gonna adjust our gas pressure. You can see our initial gas pressure was 3.358. Our input is at 59.8 and our, our target manifold's at 3.4. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just adjust the high fire gas pressure regulator up here a little bit. Just get, a, get the screwdriver seated. Come on. There we go, drop to the slot. I'm going to dial this up, and as you watch me increase the gas pressure, you'll see the as the fuel pressure increases, so does the BTU uh, input of the furnace. So you can see we're right now at 60,200 BTUs, and we can dial that in pretty much exactly uh, to 60,000 BTUs here. I'm just going to crank, crank it back a little bit. So we're right, we're right there now, right in that dead band of the range. So we'll let that go at 60,011. So I'm going to go ahead and capture the manifold pressure and then hit continue, and now I'm to the point of doing my combustion measurements. So I can start and stop the analyzer uh, right here from the uh, stack. Again, what's really slick here is I'm bringing in all my measurements in real time, and we'll give this a few minutes to stabilize here. You see our CO's at 45 parts per million, O2's at 6.8, combustion air at 72, stack temperature at 254. Our CO air free is at 64 parts per million. You'll notice that is higher than our CO and it always will be because this is CO due to the effect of dilution on there. We've got our excess airs at 48%, around 50% excess air is ideal, so that's right in range. Our efficiency is at 84% and dew points at 125.5. These Goodman furnaces, they run a really low temperized 15 to 45 degrees, so they tend to run a lower stack temperature, which is why it's in this mid range um, of the uh, uh, you know 85 percent, 84 percent efficient, not typical. Um, and I, I actually reach out to somebody Goodman and ask him about that. You can also see we're doing NO and NOx, and along with our outdoor air temperature. So the way to tell when this is sort of stabilized is you look at your CO. Our CO is stable. Our O2 again is stable. Our stack temperature will continue to rise uh, very, very slowly because the return air temperature is going up. So stack temperature is really you know, as long as it's not rising quickly here, you can see it's just rising by tenths. Uh, everything on the furnace now is nice and stable. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit continue. And again, pull in my temperature measurements. So you can see now that I have my supplier and my return air, which I'm measuring here with a, a Testo 115i up here. And then I've got another Testo uh, 905i. Both these are supported. This is the older one we use for return air temperature sensing. So Measure Quick's doing the temperature calculation. Oop, I must have bumped that off. There it goes, it'll reconnect. So you can see we're doing 1200 uh, CFM of airflow on this furnace. Again, for a 60,000 BTU air uh, furnace, that's pretty, pretty high airflow. We're at a 39 degree rise on there, so all that's good. Then we can pull in our electrical measurements and go. So you can see this is really nice and easy with the blue flame. And I'm gonna go ahead and just for a minute, I'll save this data. I'm gonna hit dismiss, and I wanna show you also the Blue Flame app. The, the Blue Flame app is a really quite a nice app. I'm gonna disconnect from the, uh, from the Redfish, or from the uh, MeasureQuick app. Go in here and hit the connect device, Oops. and we'll grab the, um, we'll just grab the uh, analyzer. Let me just refresh this once. Here we go. There we go, Blue Flame 6.51. And then I'm just going to initialize it here, and then we'll go ahead and start the analyzer. So you can see here the Blue Flame app is actually also a really nice display if you want to just look at the raw readings itself. So we've got you know the the 40 uh, on the CO 6.802. What's nice with this app though is you also have a graphing mode on here, so you can see my stack temperature, my O2, and you can see it's auto scaling here. We'll let this run for a few minutes. Well, we can look at this graphically or we can look at it in a table, uh, table view. This app will also allow you to, um, if you want to like capture something for measure quick, you just want to do a quick screen capture, a couple of buttons, you can do a screen capture of the readings. But you know, depending on how you like to use the analyzer, it's, uh, either app will work great. Now, the other thing I like about having the Bluetooth connection on these analyzers, if you do any commercial industrial uh, burner boiler work, the Blue Flame is actually ideal for that. It does have a high range CO sensor. It'll take up to a 10,000 PPM uh, CO spike. So it's excellent for doing commercial work. 
And what's really nice with this, because we can start and stop the analyzer remotely, if my burner's uh, at the front of the boiler and my, my stack is in the back, I've got enough range here that I can actually uh, tune the boiler from the front, get my O2 trimmed out, and get my wash my CO reading, and then turn around when I'm done and you know, stop the analyzer in the, in the back of the, you know, right from the, the iPad itself. So it's nice you're not running back and forth to see what the analyzer is doing as you're adjusting the burner. It makes it a lot easier to set up and commission. So just a little bit on the Blue Flame. Again, it's probably one of our favorite analyzers we've used in the last few years. It's a, it's a very durable, very well-made, uh, German-made instrument. And we've been, again, can't say enough about it. And we highly recommend it. This is Jim Bergman with MeasureQuick. Thanks a lot for watching.